Hey there guys, in this video we're going to be going back to the magical fight, uh, the sub-boss of Dark Visions 27. Um, you know, the magical fights usually give people problems. Uh, so for this one, you can, if you want to, use the re-raise trick to be able to use like physical mages like, um, you know, Ibarra and all that. But really, you don't have to, and something, you know, some players aren't really aware of is you can absolutely go off element on these fights. So even though the boss is, you know, only weak to ice and lightning, we're going to use Dark Rain to solo cap it because, you know, it's he's, he's basically way more than you need. Just take any mage you want that's, you know, somewhat competent and recent, and you'll be totally fine to cap these with any element you want. So here's the party we're going to use. Let's go in here and give it a go. And we're going to go ahead and do a turn 3 clear. Because, you know, my reign is EX3. If yours is not, you can go to turn 4. It doesn't really matter. Just, you know, cl clear it on whatever turn you really want to. So, what we're going to do, we're going to use Sylvie to go ahead and use her big uh, mitigation cooldown. We'll use a status immunity buff, and we'll go ahead and use a um, defense and spirit buff as well. We'll use Cecil to start in the base form. He's really just here for the field and some covering. And then we'll do Shelga, we'll cover, and then doesn't really matter what else. We'll just do the resist buff because why not? Louise is going to use Dark Breaker. This is from Axstar's TMR. If you don't have this, that's totally okay. I'm just using it because it gives us a slightly higher Dark Imperil. That is one thing when you're going off element, is you want the best Imperils possible, which is why Vlad is here to just do his shifted LB for the field, and that's basically it. Now, Roka is here for the Plant Killer, also because she can perfect Dispel. But on this turn, because we're going to be support chaining with Blue Wave later on, we're going to use Imperil from an Esper, because the, the boss starts off with 120 resist to all of the wrong elements. And this will bring the boss's water resist low enough that we can use blue wave to support chain. Now as far as dark rain goes, we're going to just use his cooldown one and only ruler. And then we're going to just use dark suppression twice to hit the boss for weakness damage. Because you got to hit the boss six times with the weak element. And now that we've imperiled by, um, with the field and the 130 from dark breaker... Uh, we're, we've got a lot at this point. There's the, the magic damage. We're covering it with Cecil. This turn is going to be gravity damage. We're going to just guard Cecil to take less damage. You could also do things like Nethocyte it if you want to, but just guarding your tank with high mitigation is plenty fine enough, and we're not going to lose any score from, from doing it this way. Uh, Sylvie on this turn will go ahead and shift and use her shifted LB. This is just for a slightly bigger um, modifier buff to Dark Rain. Dark Rain will go ahead and do his 150 Amplify and double focus because we're going to be killing next turn. We're going to use Louise to just go ahead and do the um, 90 Spirit Break. Uh, now the boss, like I said, did buff himself this turn. So we're going to use Roka to triple. We'll use uh, Go Boomer twice, which is a perfect dispel. And then we'll do her plant, her plant Killer buff for the party. So that goes, that goes ahead and gets rid of the boss's buffs for us. Now, we do need to hit the boss with a weak element, like I said, up to six times. We've only done two weakness hits so far. So now we're going to use Vlad with the Irony's Ring on the Shiva Esper to just quad cast Blizzard. That way we go ahead and get the rest of the weakness hits we need. So now we've completed the weakness damage uh, score criteria. So this turn is some AoE magic and some AoE gravity. We covered the gravity with Cecil, and as you can see here, very minimal damage. Uh, there is a single target to spell on this turn. Keep that in mind if you're not killing on turn 3. Your Provoker did get dispelled, so either recast your buffs and all, provoke with a different support unit, stuff like that. But we're going to kill on this turn. So before we do, Sylvie will use her I've Got Your Back skill on Dark Rain. That's for a slightly bigger LB damage buff. Dark Rain will SLB. Now, now you cannot chain on this guy with physical physical attacks. So, in order to be able to chain and get the 100 count chain score, we're going to use Blue Wave on everybody. This is a 5 star Trust Mastery, so you can UOC for more copies if you don't have 4 of them. So, Blue Wave, Blue Wave, back to the base form, and Blue Wave, 
and blue wave. So all of these are triple bolting strike frames. And because we used the imperil spell earlier, the boss can be hit with water damage. Although it won't count for weakness because the boss is currently at only plus 20 water. That's why we did the quad cast blizzard the previous turn. Anyway, so we go ahead and just chain this up and use Dark Reign's SLB. We need to deal 4 billion damage, and we did 6.2. We overkilled by more than 50% with a single Dark Reign, completely wrong element. Um, so there it is. So, you know, if your Dark Reign isn't quite as good, you should still very, very much overcap, assuming you did a relatively similar party to what I used. And like I said, the biggest, the biggest, most important thing when going off element is stack as many or as strong of imperil as you can. So imperil fields are very, very helpful when you're going off element like this. So there it is, you know, dark rain is all the damage. Perfect score. If you don't have dark rain, you can use someone like um, Vacation Fina. Uh, who else is good pure mage is with 150 amplify? Uh, the new Roka would be really good with Earth Element. You could also use things like Sea Card or Sukiko's Field. Um, Sukiko would be fine as well, uh, using her Earth LB. Again, just stack up the Imperils. Uh, stuff like that. Really just, you know, whatever you want. As long as your Mage is sort of good, you should be totally fine to get it done. Um, so here's the party we use. Naked Sylvie, Cecil in the base form, his TMR for the field, Blue Wave, Shift form is full evasion, passive provoke, um, kind of whatever. You know, he took like 100 damage the whole clear, so who cares? Uh, Louise, naked except for Dark Breaker and Blue Wave. She's just a 90 breaker. Roka, <coughs> we gave her a lightning weapon just for more weakness damage. Other than that, Blue Wave. If you don't have her, someone else to perfect a spell would be totally fine. Um, Vlad in the shift form, Irony's Ring on an Esper for Ice, because the boss is naturally weak to Ice, that gives you the weakness damage. And then Blue Wave, and then Dark Rain. So we are geared Dark Rain pretty well. He is using a double hand spear build. Um, he is the leader for his own personal leader skill. It's only 100%, but, um, you know, it's better than nothing. If you have Ibarra, definitely add her to the party as well. Uh, so there it is, you know. Plant damage, his own card, LB damage, uh, maxed LB versus magical plant, and he's maxed out, and there it is. So there is a super easy way to do the plant boss. Okay, hope it helps. See you in a bit.